Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Lachlan and today let's cook some pancakes. So this is a fantastic recipe that we can get all the kids involved, we can all cook together, have some really great fun and also eat something that's very, very tasty. So today, let's cook them two different styles. Let's do a banoffee pie style pancake and also let's do a mixed berry style pancake as well. So before I get all of my ingredients ready to go, I'm going to show you one special ingredient that we'll use today. So here I have some condensed milk. And this is pretty standard in terms of ingredients. You might have some lager in your pantry at home and you also might be able to get this from the supermarket very easily also. I'm going to pop this into the steam oven in the whole tin at 100 degrees for three hours. And this will give us the most beautiful, silky smooth caramel. If you don't have a steam oven, you can also boil this on your stove for three hours. However, you must make sure that this stays submerged with water for the whole time or the jar can explode. So the steam oven is definitely the safest option. I'll pop this into the steam oven, I'll get my ingredients and then we can get started. Okay, so in front of me here, I have all of my ingredients ready to go. First of all, I have a cup of self-raising flour. If you don't have self-raising flour, one cup of plain flour with a teaspoon of baking powder will also work perfectly. A cup of milk as well. Butter milk is ideal. If you don't have any butter milk, here I've got a little bit of lemon juice. Pop that in, very similar effects. One egg, so we've got a cup, a cup and one. And about a tablespoon or so of sugar. So simply, we'll whack everything together all at once. So you can get the kids involved here. It's all very easy. Don't get any shells in kids, all right? I've been there, done that too many times. So give this a good whisk. Get all those lumps out nice and smooth. And if you think it needs it, you can add a little bit more milk but this should give you a really, really nice texture. Nice runny mixture. Should be a little bit thicker than thickened cream. So it'll stream off nicely. That's the mix done. Okay, so my mix is mixed, all ready to go. It's nice and thick how we want it without it being too thick. I also have here in this pot, just some mixed berries. So anything that you might have lying around the freezer or even fresh, it, it doesn't really matter. And I've put in a handful of sugar as well. So you can add some vanilla, some orange zest, whatever you like. I'm going to sit this on the side of our cooktop, so just in one of the back zones on induction setting five, just so this warms up and we'll get a really nice berry sauce. You won't need to stir it or do anything like that. I've got my pan preheating now on induction setting six, so we can go ahead and start to make our pancakes. I've had it preheating for about three or four minutes. And I'm now just going to ladle in some of this pancake mix. I've got a really nice non-stick pan here, so I'm trusting that I don't need to use any butter, but you may need to spray some oil into your pan or use a little bit of butter also. So we'll ladle that in quite nicely. We'll wait till all those bubbles appear on the surface before we give it a good flip. So it's really important when we're cooking these pancakes that you're nice and patient it's very tempting to start playing with the pancake and wiggling it about and all that sort of stuff. But let it sit still in the pan. We can see now those bubbles are forming quite quickly. In about 20 or 30 seconds or so, I think this will be ready to flip and we'll get a really nice even colored pancake. So we can see here, I've got some really nice uh, even bubbles on top of the pancake. So this is ready to flip. I've got the worst pancake flipper here. It's, you know, it's very small, but it should still do the job. Carefully pop that underneath, nice and quick motion. Give it a good flip. And you can see there, we've got some really nice, beautiful color. I'm just gonna turn this cooktop down to induction setting five. It's getting a little bit too warm. We'll give that another minute or so on that side. And there we go, first pancake done. So we're just going to continue cooking all of our pancake mix. 
until you have no more mix left over. And then we can get to all the fun parts and that's decorating and creating all those yummy flavors on the pancakes that you would like to have. So whilst we've been cooking all those pancakes, on the other end of the cooktop, I just had all this berry sauce bubbling away really, really slowly. So as you can see, it's on induction setting five. These were all frozen berries, as I said before, with a little bit of sugar. So simply just let them do their things. You'll get that really nice natural juice that you can see. And very shortly, we can spoon those over the top of all our cooked pancakes. So very yummy, very healthy, and this is definitely going to be a massive hit. So we've cooked up all of our pancakes now. They're all looking really, really nice. Nice colour, all the mixes done, and we've got a good amount here. And also in front of me, I've got all of my toppings. So I've got some nuts here, I've got some marshmallows, some banana, I've got my berry sauce. Here I've got my caramel as well. So what you pop on top of your pancakes, it's really up to you so you can let your imaginations run wild and pop on exactly what you like. But let's start off with this Bonoffi style pancake. And this is the condensed milk that we popped in earlier. So the label's fallen off, that's no big deal. We're going to crack the lid now and show you exactly what we're looking at inside. So simply grab a spoon. This is still slightly warm. I've had it sitting out now for about half an hour, but it's held onto a lot of heat. You can see it's oozing out the top. And look at that, we've got a really, really nice perfect caramel. So I'm actually going to condense this into a bowl now, give it a quick mixture uh, before we pop it on top of the pancakes, just to make sure we don't have anything inside this tin which is separated during that cooking. Okay, so here we go. I'm just going to pour out this condensed milk now into this bowl. And this is a really perfect colour. So this is a really great technique. You should do this even if you're decorating a cake or you want a nice caramel sauce for a pudding or anything like that. It's a really, really quick cheats way to get a really nice caramel. So I'm just giving this a really quick mix. And now, so we've got a really, really nice caramel. So very, very tasty. So now let's start to decorate. So I'm simply just going to grab some of this sauce. And this is very sweet. I love sugar, so I'm just going to go wild here and plop it on top. We might do three clumps like that. As I said, do whatever you like. I've now got some banana. Let's whack those on as well. Make sure you stick it in the sauce. Once it's in the sauce, it'll stick so it's not going to fall off. Pop these however you like. I've also got here some marshmallows, some nice white marshmallows just from the supermarket. There's nothing fancy here. So I'm just gonna break these up a little bit, stick them on. And this is where you might need mum or dad to grab the blowtorch or pop this under the grill just quickly because we're going to toast these marshmallows. So just like you would on a fire, my blowtorch here. Oops, we've had a few stragglers. So get those nice and torched. This brings back lots of childhood memories for me, blow torching, uh, or on the campfire, I should say, some, some marshmallows. And here I've got some mascarpone as well. So give the mascarpone a quick mix, just to break it up. Grab a second spoon and just let this fall in the gaps. You can place this wherever you like, really. You can use normal cream. I really love the flavor of mascarpone, but it's really up to you. So now we've got some seriously rich pancakes going on here. And I've got some hazelnuts and some pecans. So I want to crush these nuts. I'm going to show you a really quick trick for home. It's quick and easy. The kids can do this. Grab how many you think you need. Pop them in a plastic bag, a Ziploc sandwich bag, or, or anything like that. Don't close the bag, but just make sure those nuts can't fall out. Now get a rolling pin and just gently crush this bag. So this is the easiest way to chop nuts. No mess involved either. We can now pick these up, 
scatter this on top and then also we've got a bit of this sauce dribble it around so we've just got massive sugar overload but for me this is perfect this is a very very tasty pancake so that's a banoffee done if you like sugar this is right up your alley if you don't it's probably not but i've got no doubt the kids will love this one and there's a banana in there so for me it, it means it's healthy so job done i'll leave that to the side now we have one which look very very easy we've got our berry mixture now you get lots of liquid that we saw before from this berry so just be careful that we don't put too much onto this or it can get a little bit too wet so i just simply elevate those berries and let them fall you will have some that fall off the edge for me that's it makes it look authentic and sometimes when things are placed onto food it looks like it's been purposely placed and if you can just let this fall that's going to give you a really nice home look and it's ultimately we don't mind too much how these look because they won't last for too long on the plate before we eat them all so a bit of sauce here i've got some sugared almonds which i had lying around in the pantry anything on top we'll scatter that over obviously provided that you can eat nuts and there's no nut allergies within the family and then once again because i've got it here i'm going to pop a few dollops of mascarpone on top so there and the heat from uh, the berries will just melt this mascarpone ever so slightly and I might just go a little bit more sauce on top also just on top of that mascarpone and here we have two very tasty decadent easy pancake recipes so please have a go we'd love to see your photos um, this is something that as i said you can definitely get the kids involved make a mess like i just made as well that's always good fun it's not so fun cleaning the mess but it's a good time that we can spend together in the kitchen if you want to see more recipes both kid friendly and the more adventurous style hop onto mealexperience.com.au and i'll see you next time